Hey everybody, welcome back to my tutorial on how to use Kit Scenarist. Today we're gonna to use one of my favorite parts, which is cards. Um, the reason why I think cards are important is cards are sort of how we sort of lay out our stories. Cards tend to have scenes on them and we can rearrange those scenes around in order to, for our story to fit the best. And so this is the reason why I like cards because it allows us to play with our story. It allows us to add to, to, to move the scenes around so we can see how things look in different ways and to see if we need to add cards or maybe subtract cards. So this is one sort of way, to, it's sort of like um, a way to look at your plot uh, and to look at the roadmap of your plot to see if you need to, to do some more twists and turns or if you need to straighten things out. Uh, in order to access the card function of Kitsuneris, you as we look at the menu here, you see it's the highlighted one called Cards. As you'll see in this uh, uh, demonstration right here, I have three cards up. I've actually written a little bit. Um, you can check this out in some of my other videos on how just to use the basics of Kitsuneris, where we wrote a little bit of a screenplay. Very basic. Um, and so you'll see here there's three cards. The first two cards come from writing of the script. And I'll show you how to add cards to this as well. This is a card I just got done adding. Uh, as we look at the, the way that we can interact with the cards, we, we can take a look at this. The one nice thing about Kitsuneris is if we hover over something, it normally tells us uh, what that something is. Let me, there we go. So this button here is add a new card. We'll go over that feature right now. So add a new card. So if there's a new scene I'd like to add, um, so we can say that maybe we want a uh, a place where they're uh, a part where they're walking through the park. So we'll say that Nick is walking through the park, and then description for the scene: uh, Nick is walking through the park in order to get a hot dog. So whatever that scene's about, um, or you can add an act as well too. But this just sort of gives you an idea of what, man, my spelling is sort of atrocious tonight. So how to do that. So we add, so we see that it gets added here. Um, one thing we can do is also uh, take away cards as well too. And we'll do that here in just a couple moments. The nice thing about this particular function here is it's called sort cards. So we can sort cards by, we can change the size of the note cards. We can change proportions of the note cards. You can sort of see, yep, so you can sort of see that. We can change the spacing of the note cards. So you can see they come really closer together. Uh, we can change the rows or the columns, whichever way. We can arrange them uh, in number of rows, uh, per number of rows. So if you want to have sort of, um, there's different ways to look at these. Uh, the next function here is to search for cards. So if there's a certain keyword that you're looking for, uh, you can see you can find that in the text or in tags. Um, so if you're looking for a, a character or something like that, you can find those in the note cards or if you're looking for a particular scene. Uh, the other two parts here uh, are save cards to a file. So if you want to save this to a document and, and then maybe give this document to a friend of yours to look at, you can do that. Or uh, you can print the cards out. Um, and that's another nice feature too. So if you don't want to do it virtually, like I, as we have here, we can take them all out and move them around. And so just a demonstration again on how to delete a card. So I just clicked on the card and then I deleted it there. And if you'd like to move the cards around, you simply click and hold and you can shift the cards to move it to whatever uh, area that you want. And you see that as I move the cards, it also changes the numbering. So this was number one and I changed it to three. You can also move it here and change it to two. Um, so you're able to move the cards around, which makes it real easy as you're trying to adjust your story to see what works best for you. So that's how we use cards. I hope this is helpful in writing your screenplay. Uh, again, you do not have to use this feature, but it's a very helpful feature I found as you begin to plot out what is going to happen next in your screenplay or to look at the story and see where you need to modify it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, take care and have a blessed day.